Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Jerry Glean back on the scene here with another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to use mix bus compression to glue your tracks together. So let's hop right in and get to it. Okay, so in order to do this, you're gonna want to load a compressor plugin on your mix bus. And you might be wondering, what is a mix bus? Well, a mix bus is simply a place where all of your individual tracks and your buses are joining together. So you'll have your drum bus, you'll have your instrument buses, your reverbs, your delays, everything is coming together at the mix bus and becoming one. Now, if you're someone who doesn't use buses um, while they're mixing, or if you're just unfamiliar with the concept of busing, uh, you can just think of your master master channel as your mix bus for the sake of this tutorial. This is where all of your tracks are coming together and becoming one cohesive track. So the whole objective with adding compression to your mix bus or your master channel um, is to just gently, and I mean gently, smooth out and add some compression to your overall track, right? Because you have, you know, all of these sounds that are coming together uh, from all these different places in your mix, right? So you just want to smooth everything out, but you don't want to overdo um, this compression when you're applying it to all of these different sounds at once. And that's why you'll oftentimes hear uh, mix bus compression referred to as gluing your tracks together. So here I have the SSL G bus compressor. Um, I pretty much use this compressor on every mix. I love the tone and the warmth that it provides to my mixes, um, but you can use any compressor that you want. But I will say that there are certain compressors that work better for this type of compression. But, you know, don't go out and just buy a whole new compressor plugin. Uh, use the compressor plugins that you have and just make sure that it gives you the ability to change the attack and release times. Honestly, that's what's really important as far as mix bus compression goes is the ability to tweak these attack and release times, right? Because we want to be in control of the timing of this compressor. So anytime that you're applying compression to the whole track, you want to have a slower attack time. So you'll see here that I have it set at 30 milliseconds, and this is the slowest attack time that I can set it at for this specific compressor. And the reason you want a slow attack time is so that the transients in your song can pass through the compressor without you know, completely just getting squashed, right? So you have the kick drum and the snare drum, they're hitting, and they're creating these sudden peaks in audio. So you don't want the compressor to just kill all of the power and the punch that the transients of those drums are bringing. And then for the release time, you want to have it set at a fast release setting. So um, on this compressor, I have it set at the fastest setting possible, which is 0.1 seconds. And the reason you want a fast release setting is because you don't want this compressor really clamping down on the signal. You want it to just kind of, you know, grab the signal, compress it a little bit, and then let it go quickly and, and be in time with the song. So um, we're looking for, you know, that gentle, smooth compression. We don't want the compression to really be heard. So if you had a really slow release time, then you're really going to hear the compressor clamping down on the signal. The next thing you need to set is going to be the ratio. And you'll see that I have it set here at a low ratio of two to one. The reason you want to have a low ratio set is because we're not really looking to get a lot of compression. I'm only looking to get about one to two decibels of gain reduction and having a low ratio set is gonna help me achieve that. So next we need to set the threshold knob to a position where we're getting at the very most two decibels of gain reduction up here on the compression meter. Um, like I said earlier, we're, we're just trying to smooth out the track right here. We're not trying to add heavy amounts of compression. Um, so what I like to do is go to the loudest part of my song, which is usually the chorus, and I'll press play and I'll adjust the threshold knob until I'm getting about one to two decibels of gain reduction. This time around it's gonna be different, yeah. I can feel the light inside me flickering. Weighing all my options, reconsidering. Back and forth from dreaming, I'm seeking freedom and peace again. I've been struggling to stay awake, I couldn't count the days, I've been dazed out when my bank account was empty. Okay, so now that we are compressing the track by one to two decibels, um, we just want to use this makeup gain knob right here to kind of bring some of the volume back up to its original loudness, except this time we're turning up a more compressed signal. So I'm just going to add about one to two decibels back to the song. Um, one decibel is probably good because, you know, we were getting two decibels right there at the chorus, the loudest part of the song. But then when it goes into the verses, we're going to be getting a little bit less compression since it's not as loud as the chorus. So um, adding about one decibel is going to be good. And that's how you add mix bus compression to glue your tracks together. All right, so that's it for today. I hope y'all learned something. If you're still confused about anything, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you on the next video.